another thing that I really like about this mascara is it's made with castor oil or castor, castor oil. Um, I don't know how to say it on here. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I was getting ready for the day, so I figured I would film for y'all this makeup look that I have been doing. So if you like these kind of videos, please hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Got my coffee and my hair tucked back, so I'm ready to go. The first thing that I do is I use this moisturizer and it's a soothing gel cream. Um, you can use this on your, you can use this on your whole body. Um, it is for like dry skin, um, sunburned skin, stuff like that. So I have pretty dry skin. That's why I love this stuff. And I just take a small, amount just like that a little bit goes a long way and i'll rub it in and let me tell you it's like it wakes you up okay and then for my under eyes um they're not as bad today but they've been really dark and i think it's just allergies um so i have been using the Ulta Under Eye Brightener. I've really been liking it. It's just like a twist up stick and just put a little bit there. It's only $10 and I was using before this, I was using the Becca Under Eye Brightener, um, but it was like 30 something bucks, but also Becca's going out of business. So I was like, I've got to find a under eye brightener that I like. Okay, and so to prime, I use the Hard Candy, it's from Walmart, um, Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. It's supposed to be like a dupe for the Milk uh, Gripping Primer. So that's what it looks like. I still, I tried to take the sticker off and then it just, got nasty so but that's what it looks like got it at Walmart okay for foundation I have been using a brush lately this is an it cosmetics brush and I'll try to link it I got it a couple years ago it's still in like great condition that's why I really love um, it cosmetic brushes they are a little bit pricier though but they last forever so for foundation, I've been using the L'Oreal Infallible and I have been using this for like three years almost. I really like this foundation. Um, this shade is just a little too dark for me though. So I did pick up this um, Maybelline. It's a matte and poreless. It's an oldie. Uh, it's like $5. Um, that's what it looks like. Um, I've been just been mixing these two and I really like the way it looks on skin. This is more of like a satin, like a natural finish. And this one's more of a matte finish. So I start from like the bottom and work my way up. And I just use tapping motions. For my under eyes, I just use the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I've gone back and forth between this and a few other things. Um, I just really like Tarte Shape Tape, I guess is what it boils down to. And I do have dry under eyes, but I make sure that I moisturize and prep them first. And so I don't ever have any problems with the concealer being too drying on me, so. So I know a lot of people use like sponges instead of brushes. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you use to apply your foundation and concealer? Do you use a makeup sponge or do you use a brush? Because for the longest time I used 
a sponge and I would never ever apply my concealer with a brush but man you gotta well okay you do have to clean brushes all the time but sponges I feel like you have to clean them before every application and um they just they tear easily I guess or maybe I just am rough on them but um and I just feel like it's less steps when you're just using the same brush so let me know in the comments down below what do you use do you use a sponge do you use a brush or do you use a hand because I know a lot of people still use their hands and I just can't get behind that because I don't like for my hands like my fingers to feel like nasty I guess is the word I'm looking for um let me know I'm interested okay and just to set my under eyes I use the Red Aspen um, Set Translucent Translucent Setting Powder. I am actually a brand ambassador for Red Aspen. It's not a MLM company. Um, they are like an indie direct sales company. And so they have ambassadors. I love their products, like love their products. I wear their press on nails um, and their makeup's really good. So I make just a small commission um, when anyone purchases through my link. So I just use a Real Techniques, I think this is the setting brush, so perfect. Um, now I don't remember which side I put the product on. Let me just tap back in there. I just use what's in the cap um, and then I just tap it right up underneath my eyes. So I'm just gonna tap back in and just like right around my nose area where it comes off the most, I'm just gonna set it. I don't like for my nose area to look cakey, so I'll just use the translucent powder just to set it and forget it. Okay, and then to set everything else, I use the it's either NYX or NYX. People say it differently, but it's the hashtag no filter powder. And it is in shade porcelain. Apparently, I feel like I'm that white. So, I just take a big fluffy brush and I just use this mainly for the outer perimeters of my face and then just a little bit on my chin. And this gives just a little bit more coverage but it also keeps um, the powders that I'm gonna apply next from like moving around, moving my foundation. Another spot that tends to get cakey on me is like my top lip right here. Um, so I just barely tap over. And then again, my center of my forehead it can get a little cakey as well, so I just barely tap over it. For bronzer, I'm gonna use another Red Aspen product, and this is the Bronze Press Powder Copper Grove is the shade, and that's what it looks like. They have really cute packaging, and that is the color, so it's not too warm toned, it's not too ashy, it's just like the perfect um, tone, but they're pressed Pigments are pigmented. So I just use a light hand and I just tap it on. I don't really use swapping motions much like that for applying anything because I just don't want it to move anything that I've put on underneath that. So I just tap in very gentle handedly. And then I use a little on my forehead. I've got like tons of new growth because I've been using this spray for my hair and they like to come out and play when I'm doing my makeup.
and then I'll just pop a little down here to match the rest of my face. And then barely tap it into the product, I'll pinch this and just go down the sides of my nose. Okay, for highlight, I put my highlighter on before I put my blush on. Um, I go back and forth between these two shades, the Golden Crown and the Pearl Crown. Both of these are Red Aspen products as well. Um, but I'll probably, and sometimes I mix them. So today I think I'm gonna mix both of them. This is the Gold Crown. And this is the Pearl. I've been a little rough with this one, so I'm not gonna like flip it over, but this is the Pearl Crown. So I'm just gonna tap into the Gold Crown first and just tap it on my cheekbones. It just gives a really pretty glow. And on my nose and then lightly tapping into pearl because she is, she's very pigmented. I <laughs> barely swapped that. Oh, she's just so much. Okay, so the reason why I do highlight before blush is I like for it to all like blend together and when I put highlighter over top of my blush, I just feel like it looks chunky. So for blush, I use, so they have like three different, actually four different shades. I only have three of them, peach, sweet pink, and mauve. And the mauve is like probably my favorite shade. It looks dark in the pan, but when you put it on, it looks pretty. And I'll lightly tap into this too. And then I'll use a little on my forehead and my nose. Okay, and I'll go ahead and show you all the other two shades that I have that I didn't use. This one is the Sweet Pink Bloom. It's just a really pretty pink. And this one is Peach, Peachy Bloom. So just a pretty peach shade. So moving on to my eyes. I take just a fluffy brush and the blush in mauve that I use on my cheeks and I just tap it on my eyes. I don't use a primer. Um, I just pop this bad boy on there. I really like this color and it just ties in so well with the blush. And that's all I do for eyeshadow. I don't go under the eye just because I'm usually in a hurry and it's an easy spring look so I don't go all out. All right, for eyebrows, I use a couple of products. Um, first, I use the co a Colorless Wax. Um, actually, I brush them up first. This is another Red Aspen product and I'll link everything down below. Um, but this Colorless Wax just kind of set like preps everything and puts it in its place. <laughs> so I just glide over the brows with this wax. Kind of holds it and helps your um, brow product, like the pencil glide right over. And you don't have to use as much when you use this. Okay. So I've been using the Lift and Snatch from the NYX. It's a brow tint pen. And I'm gonna take this mirror because I need it up close. And I just kind of fill in sparse areas. I have pretty thick um, eyebrows, but I do have some areas where hair won't grow. So I'm just gonna fill in with this. And I just do this on the outer parts of my brow, not the inner corner. 
because it is a felt pin and so I don't want it to look harsh on the inner corner. Okay, and then I go back in with this brow pencil. It, it's called the Avery's Brow Pencil. And I just fill in, like fluff in the inner corner. Brows are done, so moving on to mascara. This is, and I don't care what anyone says, hands down the best mascara ever. It's called the Pump It Up Maggie, and it lasts forever. It's a humongous tube. I bend my wand. <laughs> um, I start on my lower lashes just because my top lashes are extremely long with this mascara, and um, when I do my top first and then I go do my bottom, my lashes hit my eyebrows and they like curl up and I don't like it. So I use, I do the top, the bottom first and then I'll go to the top. And I'll do like one or two coats, nothing dramatic though. A lot of times I just do one. And so another thing that I really like about this mascara is it's made with castor oil or castor, castor oil. Um, I don't know how to say it, but it promotes like lash growth. So it conditions your lashes and I'm telling you mine, it's done wonders for my lashes. Um, I always get mascara on my lid. So I just take like a flat brush and I just tap back into that product that I use for eyeshadow and then just tap it over it. Okay, and to finish off this look, I just use the NYX Butter Gloss. Um, this is like my go-to spring lip color. And I'll finish with a setting spray. And I guess it's really not a setting spray. It's just a facial mist. It is rose water and coconut. And I just use it to like help melt everything in together into the skin. I got this from Marshalls, but I did find it online for at QVC. And it's like in a bundle with another product. And it's this is supposed to be like really good um, skincare benefits in it as well. Okay, so this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.